Mary, have you ever had an imperial style and then wondered, man, I wonder what this tastes like barrel aged? Absolutely. Well, today we're going to do part one of just that. Welcome back to Rewinters, everybody. Today we have a fun comparison. We've got part one of a study break and gap year comparison. So study break is the imperial stout version and gap year is the barrel aged version of the same stout. Today, we're doing Study Break. Study Break is an Imperial Stout with lactose, cacao nibs, and peanuts. Brought to you by Bottle Logic Brewing from Anaheim, California. Mary, you want to guess the percent alcohol in this if you haven't already looked? I haven't. Uh, it's just an Imperial, but it is an Imperial Stout from Bottle Logic. It is a 9.82. Okay. We'll let you know after we taste it. Mary, what do cacao nibs and peanuts remind you of? Peanut brittle? Okay. Uh, this is a Snickers inspired stout. Yes, I love Snickers. So they have the little generic Snickers here with study break written across them and modern physics on there. Um, I'm going to hide the alcohol percentage from you. But I like the wrapping on this. Mm -hmm. This is a classic Imperial stout from Bottle Logic. When I first got into craft beers, my friends were all about this stout. They said, you have to try it. It tastes just like a Snickers. Had it for the first time, fell in love with it. And since then, it's kind of been up and down with the releases. Sometimes it tastes like I remember it. Sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. This is, I believe, there's no canning date on here. I want to say this is from 2022. So earlier this year when they released it. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm excited. I love Snickers. You love Snickers, yeah. I love Snickers, and I hate studying. And we've had this beer before together, right? Yes. Do you remember it? Yes. We had it at Bottle Logic. Do you remember the like, flavor and everything? Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we're going to get a refresh <laughs> here. I've had this more than a few times. Uh, Gap Year, I had uh, one bottle of this back when it came out, but we'll worry about that one in the next video. For now, let's go talking. Let's get to studying. All right. We're back from studying. It's time to have a little study break. When you were in school, were you one of those people who, like, studied until 2 and then woke up, like, either super late or you had a morning class so you would just be miserable? Yep, miserable or just wouldn't go. Ugh. I don't think I ever, like, stayed up past 10 doing homework or studying. Oh, I stayed up late a lot. A lot of good carbonation still left in this can. Uh, this has been in my fridge the entire time that I've uh, had it to the nose. Wow, chocolate. Yeah, a lot of chocolate. I'm almost getting like coffee. I was gonna ask you if they released this during coffee week. They did not, but there's a lot of like, almost like a mocha yeah. smell to it. Um, now remember, this is an Imperial Stout. You usually hate Imperial Stouts because you don't like the leatheriness of them. Yes. And honestly, I think we both are missing that barrel aging to it. Yeah. This will be interesting uh, because I had an opinion about these two when I had compared them before uh, in my earlier years. But it, it, I'm really excited for this. This smells really good. Not getting a lot of peanut on the nose. Yeah, it smells like a, it does smell leathery, but it smells like a, more of like a, like you said, like a mocha leathery. Like, like a I chocolate can, covered leather? I can, yeah, I can see where the leathery could come in, but it does, that's why I asked if they released it during coffee week because I can smell like a little bit of a coffee chocolate. It's just the stout. Drink. Base stout yeah. usually always has that little bit of bitterness of coffee or dark chocolate. Hmm, I got a lot more than you. They have a lot of chocolate. Definitely chocolate, yeah. I don't get that this is a Snickers, like this is a liquefied Snickers or anything, but definitely chocolate and a little bit of peanut. Uh-huh. And then the coffee at the very end, like the aftertaste. So good. It's really good. I really like this. Still one of my all-time favorite Imperial Stouts. Yeah, no leather. No leather. None of, none of that. It's very, it's not very sweet, but it is a sweeter... Like a yes. dessert style stout. Not a lot of alcohol. No, I don't get any alcohol in here. What so you is said it? this was a 9.83, something like that, or one or two. You're going to stick with that? 
I mean, yeah, I don't, I, have, I don't even taste any alcohol. I, I don't know if it's up or down. This is a 10% beer. That was pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Good. You would never guess it by sipping on it. No. Now, having had a can of this alone, you will feel it. Yeah, for sure. Especially after your second can. What? <laughs> you didn't drink two of these in one night. You don't know. Oh my gosh. What happens in quarantine stays in quarantine. That was BM. <laughs> Before Mary. It's not bowel movement. Well, I'm sure you had a bowel movement afterwards. Very heavy. This is a good stout. Honestly, there's a reason when they bring this stout around, I usually have to pick up a can. Yeah, it's a good... It's really... It's... It's a good stout. I am missing a little bit of the alcohol kick, though, because that's just me. You love I that. like... You I like... That. I mean, I like... It's, it's crazy that this is 10% and I get no alcohol in it. I don't know what... Like, if you handed me this, like, in a, in a glass, yeah, and you told me it was a, a Coke, because it looks like it, I might believe you for, like, a second, because <laughs> I don't feel any it. alcohol, or taste any alcohol in it. But I'm I'm missing that a little bit. As far as Imperial Stouts go, this is, like I said, this is yeah. one of my favorites. I don't miss the alcohol kick here, because if I want that, I can get a barrel-aged beer. But if I want something that's not... 15% but I still want a stout I can get this yeah luckily they do come out with it about two maybe three times a year so it's always fun when they do bring it out I'm going to give steady break a 4.5 out of 5 hmm. I think I agree I think I give it a 4.5 because I do get the chocolate I get a little bit of the peanut I get coffee at the end, which is all good, mm -hmm. but sometimes, especially with this, I think that an alcohol cake would taste so good with this, these flavors. Well, spoiler alert, we might be getting that in the next episode. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I really think the can's really cute. You like it a lot? Just FYI. I really do like it a lot. I think it... I like the look of, like, not chaos like that, but it's like, we're going to put this here, and we're going to put this here, and it's it's all the same things, but they're all oriented different, and it's yeah. just, it, I don't know, I like it. It looks cool. All of it's cool. I'm a math major. You're a bio major, so this is right up both of our alleys. I yep. like it. I will say this about this. Um, as it warms up, the peanut does come out more. So that is one caveat. Mm. If you want your more chocolate forward, drink it cold. If you want more of that peanut to come out, drink it warm. Well, friends, we finished our study break and we gotta go get our degrees. But after you're done getting a degree, sometimes you want a bigger break than just a study break. Sometimes you gotta take a gap year. So next time we're gonna have this same stout, but barrel aged. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe. Go click that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload the next video because it will be our review of Gap Year in comparison with Study Break. You don't want to miss it. But until then, we're the Brimatures trying every beer around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time! time.